Hello everybody, welcome to a new type of video. We are doing a wrap up of our monthly favorites. This is for July. I personally love watching videos like this on YouTube, so I wanted to do one of my own and figured it would be kind of nice to do a couple's one and see what we each um, like and some things overlap as well and I have them categorized. So I'll start with the first category, which is comprehensive skin, hair, makeup, um, bath, and body. I only have two for myself in this category. Nothing for you? No. Nothing for Murphy. Um, so the first one for me is this Sea Tango Multivitamin uh, Eye Cream by Drunk Elephant. This is actually a sample size that I got um, from Space and K. And this has lasted me like a month and a half actually. And it's five milliliters only. And I just bought the full size product uh, today actually, um, cause I just ran out. And this has been the only eye cream that has actually made any like changes that I could actually see. And I've tried quite a few. So this one, I definitely have noticed like the like small fine lines um, in my under eyes start going away and it just is, very brightening and I use this a little bit in the morning and this the five milliliters like I said lasted like a month and a half two months the full-size product is 15 milliliters it was 65 euros and so I figured that's probably gonna last me like three or four months which I feel like is pretty good considering so this has been a game changer and secondly I feel like this product i'm kind of late to the game but it's the got to be glued it's for hair but um all the gals have been using it on their eyebrows lately they do make an eyebrow specific product but i've heard that this um is just the hold on the actual hair one is better than the eyebrow product that they created so they only had like this giant size um but it was like three euros or something and it's gonna last me a long time. And if I, I have used it on like my hair for flyaways when I do a slick back bun as well, but primarily for the eyebrows. So if you need to use some. Might need to. <laughs> okay, the next category we'll move on to is gonna be entertainment. This is mostly gonna be in like TV, movie um, category. Okay, this month uh, we've watched a lot of shows on Apple TV. Um, I feel like there's been a lot of good ones that have uh, recently come out or have been uh, being released. So we watched Silo, uh, which was really good. Um, that was kind of like a post-apocalyptic um, type TV show. Uh, that one was really good, definitely recommend that. And then we just finished yesterday Hijack uh, with Idris Elba, um, the last episode released yesterday and it was, yeah. If you like like good. a fast paced thriller that will always ends with you wanting more definitely watch that we were watching it as they were coming out so every i mean which is kind of nice but at the same time when we're used to having everything at our disposable or at disposal this these days it's like oh we have to wait like another week until this new episode comes out but it was so so good that that one's like top tier of my list i think yeah that one was good and then uh, the last thing we started is watch we've been starting watching the marvel movies from the start um, release date, not chronological. Yeah, I think I'd seen maybe Iron Man, and that was probably about it. So first time for me uh, watching through them, and yeah, it's been really good. Uh, they're kind of funny. They have some funny parts. The action is pretty good. It's whatever. Um, Depending on the movie, I feel like. Yeah. You start to like some characters and don't like others. Um, I guess that's with everything, but... Yeah. We, we just finished Avengers um, yesterday. By the time this goes out, we'll be further along. But so far, um, for me, I had seen Iron Man, and he was my favorite before, and he's still my tried and true favorite. So, But I really like the Hulk as well, um, and I had never seen the Hulk. So, Yeah, I think I like Thor. I like Spider-Man. We haven't made it to Spider-Man yet. Yeah. But, um, Okay, so he hit on most of the TV shows we collectively um, 
would be uh, like our favorites this month but then also we finished severance which came out i think last year so it's a little bit older um but i had it's been on like my watch list for a while and we finally started it it's like kind it's like kind of like a slow burner show it doesn't captivate you right off episode one i don't think i think it takes like two or three but super super good it's just kind of like a for lack of a better word, my apologies, like a mind fuck. It's kind of like Black Mirror-ish in that realm. Mm -hmm. um, but it's about like a workplace where you are you go to work and you have a separate self there. And then at home, you don't, like they don't coincide with each other. It's hard to explain, but if you haven't watched it and you have Apple TV, definitely give that one a watch. Um, okay, next is any workout fitness related things. So first, we both have this down for ours, and it's biking in general, just not something that we were used to doing every day. Murphy does it more than me, obviously. He bikes about, what, 40 minutes to work? 35 minutes? Yeah, it's about 30 minutes uh, both ways, like five miles. So I ended up doing like 10 miles um, on the bike a day. It's pretty flat, so it's not terrible, but yeah, it's good to do that right away in the morning. It's nice to... Uh, it's not really a workout, but it is, yeah, get your heart rate up a little bit. Um, and then for me, I don't know if I've like fully mentioned uh, on here yet, but I'm getting a lot more into running and I'm doing a training plan for a half marathon. I've been using this app called Runna, R-U-N-N-A, and Murphy signed me up for it in June. It's so nice. You can really customize it to your goals. It doesn't have to be just for a half marathon. It can be a 5K, it can be a 10K, a marathon. And you can choose how many days a week you would like to run, what day you want your long run on, if you want to incorporate weight training, and if you do, what sort of equipment you have access to. And so you put in all of that data and then it formulates a plan and based on what it gives you you can adjust um like the runs and stuff like if it gave you monday wednesday friday runs you're like i'd, I'd rather not run on wednesday because i have a busy day you can just shift it and the workouts vary in that you get some speed work um speed runs like tempo runs um long runs easy runs and they give you pace recommendations and if you use the, if you record the workout on the app, it will actually use GPS and tell you if you're going too fast, if you're going too slow. And that's been a game changer for me personally because I used to run when I was younger, like in college, high school and college. And I feel like at that time, I just kind of, you just go out and run. And I've gotten significantly slower since then. And this in general has just been changing the way I do my runs it's helped me get faster it's helped my long runs feel easier and so if you want to get into running or you're struggling currently running and you feel like you're not getting better I would like super super recommend using this app um you can get two I think you can get like a two-week free trial just to see if you like it um but it's it's a game changer um yeah so next is books I'm really into reading um, but I'll only talk about two. So the first one, I'm not quite done yet, um, but it's been all over TikTok, if you're on BookTok at all. Um, and it's called Fourth Wing. It's amazing. It's like a fantasy book. And it's one of those books that gets you out of your reading rut if you like fantasy books. And it's basically like, it's a dragon world um, book with politics, love, yeah, it's, it's super good. I'm sure most people have seen it anyways, but if you're into fantasy, um, I would definitely read that. Right, so the other book, um, I just finished this yesterday actually, and it's by Chelsea Handler. It's Life Will Be the Death of Me and You Too. And this was just kind of about her, it's her more recent book. It was in 2019, I think. Yeah. And I've just been trying to incorporate more nonfiction books alongside my fiction books and it's just kind of interesting to hear other people's perspectives and it was just kind of about her struggles with mental health and all that and it, it was really good. I enjoyed it. I would recommend it. It was just an easy read, something you could read alongside having like a TV show on or something. So 
Um, that is it for my books. Next is food and drink. Yeah, so with our new home, we have enough space for a grill here. Um, and yeah, been grilling a lot. I think uh, favorites are a grilled romaine recipe that I found um, on YouTube actually and uh, putting that in a Caesar salad. So basically you just get a big head of romaine, cut it in half, put a little bit of oil on it and then um, put it right on the grill. It only takes about a minute or two. I usually flip it um, just to get both sides um, a little bit charred but yeah you just pull it off and then slice it up and put it in your salad and it's really good it um, adds way more flavor than lettuce would normally be just plain so yeah yeah good so and good. good in the caesar salad i guess it would be good with any kind of salad um other than that uh made shrimp tacos a few times um first time i made it i bought yeah just shrimp that weren't deveined and that was a lot of work to get them deveined and uh, on the skewers and seasoned up and then the second time I just bought some like pre-seasoned skewered ones from Albert Hine and yeah, those are Much easier took way less time and They're were really better. Good. Yeah, um, so I'll probably continue to, to do that We do have a butcher shop um, In our little shopping center that also has uh, skewered shrimp. So I might have to try that um, This weekend I've been trying not to drink alcohol as much um, so I found this ginger ale with lemongrass uh, I don't remember the brand, but um, that was good. And then, yeah, uh, a few different flavors of sparkling water that were new here. Uh, lemon cactus, I think, is the one we have now. Yeah. That's probably my favorite one. That one, it's interesting. Yeah, it's like between like a strong citrus lemon flavor and like limoncello, how it's like vanilla-y. It's like right in between that. It's not as tart as just like a lemon soda water. Um but yeah, we don't drink. We don't do hard alcohol in the house, really. So the soda helps with that. As I'm drinking wine, but wine we wine we have a lot. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just put along with that, just grilling in general has been really nice and like just changes the flavor a little bit. Mm -hmm. Like just having grilled chicken, um, burgers on the grill and getting to experiment with some different things a little bit more murphy's the grill master but like i find some ideas for us i did salmon one time the salmon was, was so good, good with an avocado salsa on mm -hmm. top yeah i should have put that down but yeah that was delicious next category is lifestyle items pro products things um for this one i put our bath mat we have like an open if you've seen our um house tour you would see but it's like an open concept shower bath situation so there's not like a curtain or a door and so the water like seeps out and basically our regular bath mat was just getting like drenched so we bought one of those stone bath mats and it's a game changer it dries super quick and it soaks up all that water that just splashes out um and yeah it's i don't think i would ever have a different bath mat now yeah it's it's nice. And we just got ours on Amazon. What does that even say? The next and last <laughs> category um, for today's favorites are habits that we've been sticking to that we feel like have made a difference. For me, it's bringing Monty for a walk in the morning, no excuses, minimum 20 minutes at least. And this is for him, obviously, but also for me. Um, right when I get up, I take him for a walk and it just helps me wake up kind of like his bike ride, like the fresh air, getting sunlight in my eyes. It's a nice way to wake up and I hold myself accountable to other things in the day. I feel like if I just like get up and do those things and then I feel like people have maybe also heard about this, but like delaying caffeine by like about an hour is helpful and so that helps me push back my coffee as well because otherwise like i really want coffee right away so i get up do my walk and then um i make myself breakfast and coffee so yeah the walk is nice and we have such a nice area to walk now like before it was in the city and there was like so many people with their dogs that you'd have to like avoid and here it's like no one's up usually when i'm walking um, so it's nice and I just listen to a podcast and it's a really nice way to start the day. So 
I guess miscellaneous, I'll just say we finally got our BSN numbers. If you had been following a bit about that, it's basically been a month since our appointment. There was a whole debacle with it, but we finally got it, which means we finally also got a bank account here. And so now we can actually like sign up for a few things that we weren't able to do and like pay for things that weren't accepting our um, British bank account and stuff. So that is actually really exciting. And we're gonna get new phones this weekend. And so after that, we'll be like- Done. All pretty done. much like, at, we can like, a big sigh of relief basically. So that concludes our July favorites. Um, let us know if you like this, if it's interesting. Um, we'll probably do another one in August. It's kind of fun to like reflect on things and like think about things. Like I, I wouldn't have thought about things I like really enjoyed or like felt like changed my day to day if I didn't do this. So I feel like it'll be nice, but let us know if you enjoyed this and we'll be back with some vlogs very, very soon. So. See ya. Did I pass the test? Yeah. Yes.